In this video, we're going to explore how you can use the array length to measure or track the length of an array. So first of all, you probably are aware what's an array. And if you're not, please check out my other video. However, an array is, in short, it consists of multiple values or data points, which is extremely useful if, for example, you are going to draw a chart in Chart.js where you need to know how many data points you have for the lines or for your uh, pie chart or any chart you want to draw. So we're going to use the array length and with that we can instantly figure out how many data points an array has. And this can be very, very useful. All right, if I open up my developer tab and if I click here on array length, this button here does nothing. And what we really want to do right now is on click on this, we, would we want to show the array length. To see here so let's go back to our tab here or our HTML file and this is a blank HTML file basically just the core items which is a bootstrap design and in here there's no JavaScript yet set so we're going to set up some JavaScript in here to do this or to determine an array length we must have the value or an array existing in our situation so let's put in here array or sorry not an array we we'll make here a constant, and this constant will be called the sales constant. Basically, we're going to record sales numbers or data points, and then in here we will put in 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. So right now we have defined an R array with these brackets here that makes it an array. And then below here we're going to start working on how we can use the command. So to do to use the command basically this we say sales or basically the the array value or the constant and then we say length once we do that then we start to get the value out of it so if we do this and we press save here it will do nothing yet of course because we have nothing here as you can see however if we put this in a console.log Adding this in here, save this, refresh. Now you can see we have a value of six in the console. So that's correct. However, if we click on this, still nothing happens. And what we want to do now is adding up a click event on here. So we can say here an ID, and this ID will be uh, array length. And now what we can do here is we can create a function based on this. So we can say here. Uh, sorry, before we do that, we say here um, get element by ID. So we get the array. So we say const array length equals document dot get element is capital E by ID. All right. And then which one is it? Well, it's basically this. So we put it here between. All right, make sure you have these single quotations here because this is a string value. So we've got this, we get that. And then what we can do here is array length. So that's the variable. But the moment we click this, so we say add event listener. So the moment we click this, we say click. What happened then, you will activate our function and our function is uh, length function that will be fine so now what we can do here is so we say function length and between here we can basically copy this and once we did that we are now creating a reactive one so if we refresh nothing happens here you click on array length you can see this so let's see here what happened if we say console log here outside of the function so if we save this refresh now you can see it doesn't see anything and the reason why sales is not defined the variable or the constant sales is not defined the reason why it's not defined is because it is outside of the function block so this makes it controlled within this area 
and this is basically how you can use the length or the array function or the array length function to track if you put in here let's say some other numbers all right so we probably have now here uh, nine items so let's save that refresh and you can see now it doesn't work here but if you click here there we are you see nine as the value so if you like these kind of videos subscribe to my channel and if you're interested to learn how to use javascript more better for your chart.js check out my udemy course or my chart.js on udemy course in the description box